our children. I hope you are fine and you're taking care of yourself. I'm your teacher, Nabo Richard. Uh, we, are back, we are back in SAS. I want you to get organized, get your materials, and jump start. Fine, we have been looking at drugs. Last week we looked at drugs. We're still looking at drugs in society. And today we shall be looking at storage of drugs. Uh, that's our topic for today. So make sure that you have your materials you're supposed to be using when we are studying. Uh, you can see my man is still there having those drugs as Suzo. Now, by the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to know the proper of storing drugs. Two, I expect you to start for me the advantage of proper storage of these drugs. Three, you're supposed to mention at least three dangers of buying drugs from shops and markets. And last but not least, to give places where a drug should be bought. That's what that's our, our expectation for today. So by the end of the day, must have achieved all this. And make sure that you are serious what we're doing. Fine. In our first session, we want to look at the storage of drugs. I know you have drugs of different types at your home. How would you keep them at your home? So you're going to be writing for me only two ways drugs should be stored. Try to look around and see how does mommy keep those drugs and so on. Write for me those two ways those drugs should be kept. I've written them down. That's wonderful. Let's relate with my answers here, children. So we're saying, one, drugs should be stored in a clean, cold, dry place. They should be stored in a clean, cold, dry place. The place must be free from moisture. Right? Uh, we are going to see why they should be kept so. Then two, we are saying they should be kept away from moisture, heat, sunlight, and dirt. Do you know why they are kept away from such kind of conditions? Could you think of that? Fine. We're saying that they should be kept away from such conditions because when you keep them in moisture and places which are not cold, you are going to be destroying the effectiveness of this drug. And live along that, you also make the drug contaminated. And when you are kept in a place which is moist, the accurate value is lost completely. So that's why we should keep them in a place which is cool and dry. Let me hope that's what you're doing at home. Then thirdly, we are saying that the drug should be kept out of reach of children. You know, some of you are fond of taking drugs anyhow. There are some drugs which are quite sweet, and you just go and pick. That's very, very dangerous. So this drug should be kept away from children's reach. Reason being, this prevents poisoning, or what we call drug poisoning. And also, it prevents you from spoiling them. Some children are fond of getting those drugs and just misuse those drugs. So if you don't keep those drugs away from children's reach, children will spoil them. And if you start swallowing those drugs, they will be poisoning themselves, which can result in two death and so on. So let me hope my children have learned how these drugs should be kept. We have said they should be kept away from your reach, a place which is quite high where you can actually access. That means prevent poisoning. And two, they need to be kept in a place which is free from moisture, dirt, and sunlight. Drugs don't need sunlight, drugs don't need moisture, drugs don't need heat, and so on. Fine. In our next session, children, we shall look at the advantage of storing these drugs properly. Why do you think it's very important for us to store these drugs properly? What do you think are the advantage of storing drugs properly? Can you jot down for me only two points why you think these drugs should be kept properly? I'm giving just less than a minute. We'll check with mine here. Fine. Could you be having any of this? One, we need to keep these drugs properly. One, to prevent drug misuse. We shall look at that. Last time I told you that drug misuse is the use of a drug without the doctor's advice and so on. Two, it helps us to control drug poisoning in the home. If you saw a drug anyhow, with drug which you don't know, you might be poisoning your body. Three, it prevents contamination of the drug. That's why I need to store them properly. Four, it prevents drugs from getting easily stolen. Some places, not necessarily home, hospitals and other pharmacies, drug shops, they need to be kept safely so that they are not stolen by bad people. Then also, it helps to maintain their lifespan of, and so on. So these are the advantages of why drugs should be kept properly. So let me hope you are... All right, children. So in our next session here, we are going to look at the dangers of buying drugs from shops or open markets and so on. Sometimes people tend to buy drugs from shops. When they are sick, they just rush to a nearby shop and they buy drugs. Sometimes, sometimes drugs are sold, sold in markets. 
But do you think those drugs are quite good? Can you think of any two danger of buying drugs from such places, which are not recommended? Think of any two dangers of buying those drugs. What do you think are the dangers of buying those drugs? Fine, let's let with mine here. So one, we are saying, aha, uh -huh, those drugs don't have prescription. Remember the word prescription? We said the prescription is a written information by health worker on how a drug should be used. Now, do you think those drugs are going to be prescribed? Do you have a doctor in a shop? Do you have a doctor in a market? No, we don't have any of that. So such drugs are not prescribed. And remember the danger of taking unprescribed drugs are very many. You might take underdose, you might take overdose. You could even take a drug which is even expired a drug which is even fake, so don't think of taking that. So such drugs don't have prescription. Secondly, some of these drugs will be, ex be expired, so you don't know what that shopkeeper has given you. That drug will be expired, which can actually harm yourself. Two, three, some drugs should be fake or counterfeit. So don't think whatever looks like a drug is a genuine drug. So many people in Uganda sell fake drugs. That's why it's very, very important to go to the right, right, right place. Then also we are saying such drugs in open market and shop are not well stored. They are going to get in contact with moisture, they get in contact with dirt, they get in contact with so many bad things. And what they've seen the danger of storing drugs poorly. If you store drugs poorly, the effectiveness of the drug is going to be lost. The relative value of the drug is going to be lost and so on. So it's very, very important for you to know where to buy these drugs, children. So let me hope you are together today. So in our next session, we want to see where should drugs be bought exactly. I know sometimes we're about drugs. So you're going to write for me any place where you think a drug should be bought. I uh, know you have already written down. Let's look with mine here. One, there's a place called a pharmacies. There's a place called a pharmacy. Do you know of any pharmacy? Do you have a nearby pharmacy in your area? So that's why you should go and buy the drugs. Then also we can get drugs from clinics. We can also get drugs from hospitals. We can get drugs from drug shops. So those are the recommended places where drugs should be bought children. So don't just buy drugs from anybody selling drugs anyhow. So let me hope you have understood this very properly, children. And let me hope you are taking care of yourself. You are going to stay safe and so on. Fine. I'm going to leave you that simple activity, which you write for me later. So this is a very simple activity. Number one, give a reason why drugs should be kept away from moisture and sunlight. Two, out of reach of children. Number two, apart from preventing contamination, give two other advantages of proper storage of drugs. Then three, to mention for me one danger of buying drugs from open markets and shop. And lastly, why should drugs be bought from pharmacy or drug shop? So thank you for being good children. Take care of yourself.